Hey folks, we're here at the 2017 NCHA World Finals. They're going on right now. In fact, it's the non-pro world championship. And I'm here with the non-pro world champion, April Widman, who rode Woody's Baby. Congratulations to you, April. Thank you. Now, it's still going on, but we know you're the winner because you were leading by quite a bit and you just had a fantastic run. Tell us about that. You know, tonight I went in just knowing I had it sewed up, and so I just wanted to enjoy it without any stress, without any pressure, and just show everybody what my horse was made of. I didn't quite get the cows that I wanted, but he was still fabulous. He gives me everything, every step, every run, and, you know, even though it didn't work out exactly like I wanted, it was so much fun. It was a blast. How much more enjoyable is it to compete when there's no pressure? Oh, it's, it's really good. <laughs> The finals have been a little stressful because I was catchable and, you know, Kylie is one heck of a great girl and a great competitor. So, yeah, you have to look behind you a lot, but, you know, it's competition and you know that going into it. Okay. So you came in 14,000 ahead, as you say, a good lead but catchable. Which was the go-round that you really think you cemented it? And, and describe the run to us. Uh, that would be the third round, and uh, it, I had a really good run. I had a little bit of a bobble on my first quit, and so I only marked a 216 and a half, but I still got a good check. Um, afterwards, my family and all my close friends were trying to convince me that it was mathematically impossible to lose it, <laughs> but I was still just disbelieving it. Uh, I set out to win the world this year. I led it all year. Everything has led up to this point, but it's still so surreal. I, I still can't believe that it's me. Uh, I, I beat some of my biggest heroes, and I've looked up to them my whole life. I've done this since I was about nine years old. So it was very hard to really cement it in my head that I've got this. So being on the road all year and obviously having a, a really good horse, um, has that really made you a competitor of a, at a level that you weren't before? Absolutely. I feel like I'm at the absolute best I've ever been in my life. But I have a horse that I have 100% confidence in. And as most people that ever do this know, that is something that is crucial to be able to go and do your best. And he and I just understand each other. And so I'm able to do my job without worrying about him. And he always is offering his best. I don't have to ask him for that next gear. He's already offering it to me. So tell us, tell us a little bit more about Woody's baby. He's a bit of a show pony. Give us a description of what, what he does. He likes to show off. He likes the attention. I always say those two and a half minutes are my time. The rest of the time is Spanky's time. Um, he likes to buck and play and jump in the air and kick out. And he does it after I show as well. Um, and it's not trying to buck me off, it's just playing. He loves coming to these shows. When I round the corner and he sees all of the lopers and everything, that's when it starts. And he truly loves this as much as I do. And a lot of people say their horses love it, but I can honestly say this one lives for it. Obviously, it's two years of hauling. I've never injected him. I hardly ever have to work him. I don't have to lope him much. He just loves it. Okay. So um, tell us about your decision to haul this year and how the whole experience has been. Um, I hauled years ago and I won the Novice Non-Pro on Playboy McRae in 2000 and it was a blast. And then I got into the aged events and I did that for a while and I just decided to change things up after I had my son. I wanted to do something that was a little easier to take the family on, on trips to and last year I hauled him and I was reserved. I set out that year to just make the top five. When I got up the second, it was a dream, and I just went for it. So then after that, I thought, you know, I'm never going to be any better than I am right now. He's still young and fit. Let's, this is the year to do it. So this time last year, we made that decision. Let's go for it and try to win it. Okay. So now that you have won it and you've obviously really gelled, what does that mean for next year? He is probably, I don't know exactly, about 40-some thousand shy of that 400,000 mark in lifetime earnings. I want to get him into that Hall of Fame. I'm going to be inducted in June of next year, and so I hope that next year that I can get him in. My other horse, I've got him now, and he's fresh and ready to go, so I have two. So I'm going to go. I don't know how hard, but I am going to go some next year. I'm having too much fun to quit. Well, congratulations. You sound like you're just absolutely peaking, and you've got you know, another great year ahead of you. Good luck with that. Thank you so much.